Today we are embracing Puerto Rico's history by learning about the Taino indigenous people. So you come into this beautiful, beautiful walkway over here. It's raining, but it's okay. Rain doesn't do anything to you. And we're just gonna go down there and check it out. I definitely recommend visiting this indigenous park, especially if you are a person that's interested in archeological sites or in indigenous history. It is just so beautiful and very well maintained. And the fee to get in is only about $5. And I think kids are three. My daughter was younger than the price, so I think she got in for free. But it's definitely worth a visit. When you first go in, you get to see a documentary and then you get to go downstairs and into the park. Guario next is un cuado. And what, what does that say? Are those like the sheaves? The sheaves. Oh. 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 They do have laid out like the different indigenous sites in Puerto Rico and museums that they have. And then they have this amazing display is air conditioned. <laughs> so we loved it in there. But you go in and they have all these artifacts. So once you watch a documentary and see all the artifacts, you built a great amount of knowledge of this particular site, which makes you appreciate this site so much and just understand what you're looking at. So the way that they have it laid out is really awesome. The sun is finally out and we finally get to see the indigenous ceremonial park, which I'm so thrilled about because I've been wanting to come here for a long time. And last time I came out here, it was closed because I came too late. So I'm really excited that this visit, we finally made it over here. Right, Dad? Hi. Dad brought his little doggies. <laughs> and Mamie has another one there. The Stay away from those ants. This is a bate, and I find it so amazing that they let you just walk on this stuff. <laughs> you know? But this is what they believe to be a bate, where they would play ball and whatnot and they have like the rocks over there there's a couple of them there's this one there's that one over there and then the big one over there they think it was for re ceremonial things then there's another one over there that has to do like with the calendars and the uh, solstice and all that fun jazz It's just amazing that you get to come here and it's okay to touch these rocks, you know? These stones. It's starting to rain now again. It just, it's funny because it's sunny, yet it rains. Um, my dad says you used to be able to go to down to the river through there because when they were young, they just used to come down here for the river and now it's all closed off and there's fences, so you really can't do any of that. But yeah, it's cool to see the history. That was a nice little outing. We went to a touristic Indian site with the dog. <laughs> After that awesome visit, it was time for us to go get some lunch. So we just placed our order from the menu on the tree right there. And the ordering system is very confusing. Jay understands it. Yes. I'm like, I just want a chicken and how much, what are the quantities? And they were like, well, for how many people? <laughs> Jay was just like, oh, just four people. <laughs> Twenty-five bucks got us these three very heavy containers. Shaw, Jay estimates is about what? Ten. About ten pounds. Ten pounds of food. So, and it's like local stuff. So it's like the roots. You get a nice, delicious baked chicken. And I ordered some guineo hard caliche because I want to try some so bad. So you're getting good stuff for a very nice price. After that awesome lunch, we headed for another adventure. Now my dad lives up in the mountains. We went higher into those mountains so the roads were very small but the views were just absolutely gorgeous. And here we got to see cacao trees and what those were like. Right now we're here in this middle of nowhere place. 
No reception. No reception. No TV. No TV. <laughs> the plumbing is a tiny little pipe that goes through. <laughs> and that's the house. We're just here waiting for my dad because he's gonna, he knows these people and apparently they, they plant cacao trees, like chocolate trees. So, oh, and you hear that? That's the rain. It's here. So they get so they share their resources. They talk about the things they like to grow and the fruits, and they show their pride of all their harvest, and then they share it with one another. He came from one plant that he had told them about, and he just loaded the entire truck for my dad. They're both so proud of their growth. Like, dad is proud of the things that he's grown, and this guy is proud of the things he's grown. After this amazing stop, our adventure continued with our next two stops being La Piedra Escrita in Hajuja and El Chorro Doña Juana in Orocovis. All right, we are now in Hajuja. It rains, it's sunny, there's more rain up there, so we just get wet as we walk. It's part of August life here, I guess. We're gonna go see La Piedra Escrita here, which is one of those indigenous rocks that was written in, and there's also a river, so now it has become like this big touristy spot. So we're gonna go check it out. Back in the days, people used to go down there, my dad says. And he says, you know, there was like parking and everything down there. Now they've made this whole ramp thing for you to go down through the snow. It's nice. Oh, look how gorgeous the view is from up here. This was such an exciting stop for me because I just love and I just embrace history and our roots and our culture and how it all came to be. So things like this really excite me. La Piedra Escrita is right there. It's one of those indigenous Taino writing that we have here and it's beautiful. It's a gorgeous place, right dad? Yeah. So around here, you get the beautiful mountain view back there. You get the wonderful waterfalls over here. It's just nice. It's a beautiful place to come and soak your toes in and just freak out like me when you're coming down these slippery stones. We didn't get to go in the river, but we definitely got soaked. <laughs> so chilly right now because we're so high up but look at the dew on the top it's crazy it's beautiful right now we are here this is known as El Chorro de Doña Juana it's a beautiful waterfall here and look at these views it's just gorgeous After visiting El Chorro Doña Juana, we headed down to Hajuja. In Hajuja, they also have another indigenous museum, but this particular day, they were closed. I think they opened Thursday, Friday, Saturday. So we couldn't check it out this time, but definitely something that I wanna check out next time I visit. This is a plaza that I really, really like because it's really well kept. But the floor is, it just, it's so funny because the floors here are so slippery and it's always raining. So I just find it pretty hilarious how that always works. But this right here is Nemesto Arcanales. I have no idea who this guy is, but we're gonna take a picture of him because if there's a statue of him, he must be important. So I'll do my research later. <laughs> you hear that? Those are the coquises. Almost. Mm -hmm. This is that cacao fruit. I have to here, where? Look at this. Got the root. Oh. So you, you eat it and you just don't eat the, the plant, right? You don't eat the seeds. Oh. It tastes like 
Mm. It tastes just like what it smells. <laughs> it tastes just like what it smells. Mm -hmm. that, uh, right. Can you only eat the white part? Yeah. It, it's not too fleshy. It's just. What do you think? It's like soap. <laughs> yeah, it does. Soap? Like soap. It smells like soap too, right? It really tastes like soap. Yeah, it does. I don't really like it. No. This was such an amazing day filled with so many beautiful experiences. If you ever have the opportunity when you are in Puerto Rico, I definitely recommend these indigenous sites. They're just beautiful and filled with history and so much culture. In our next Puerto Rico vlog, we are going to be visiting the beautiful coastal city of Arecibo. So make sure to be on the lookout for that. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.